Hello everyone welcome to Irender, in this video we're going to guide you, on how to use our transfer data tool called Irender Drive. Irender Drive upgrade based on PureWebSync application. We first download Irender on the Irender console. Go to Apps, Download and Next follow the instructions to install Irender Drive. You need to install the NEP Desktop Runtime if you don't already have it installed on your computer. Now, log into the iRender Drive by entering your iRender credentials. Z Drive contains your data, so go to Z to upload your data. X Drive contains software installers that are available for any remote servers. You read only. The process is described as two-way synchronization. You first upload data to iRender Drive. The data then will be synced to the Z drive of the remote server. Subsequently, you can easily sync your output files from the remote server to your personal computer also through iRender Drive. So let's start with the sync from a personal computer to the remote server. In order to faster transfer data, it is highly recommended to create three main folders. So now go to the input folder, upload the data you need to work on iRender. Upload files by drag and drop files. Upload files by manual function is to upload files, that will be under the current directory on iRender drive. Upload files by keep local path function allows our system to automatically create a directory on iRender Drive and Z Drive, that is the same as the root directory on your PC. You can stop, cancel and resume, retry while uploading or downloading. The codatization process can be represented by the icon cloud and tooltip. When the cloud icon variable disappears means the sync process is done. To save your money, you should boot the image after your data is synced. We're connecting to the remote server, let's see where the sync data is. Now. On the remote server go to Z Drive, then open the input folder, all files we uploaded are here. Keep in mind that Z Drive is a network drive, however it's optimal to work everything on a hard drive like C or desktop, so copy data to desktop before opening it. First on the remote server, we move the output file from desktop to the Z Drive, in particular we move it to the output folder here. Next, from the personal computer open the output file is already synced, we now just need to download it to the personal computer. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. I render happy rendering, happy training.